taking a walk um, down to my neighbor's, which is slightly more than a mile walk. Uh, headed down the driveway. Turn this around. But you see I'm dressed pretty warm. What you can't see is I've got insulated coveralls on. A 800 duck down jacket with a hoodie on and a beanie. And it's probably, I don't know, 32, 33 degrees outside. And I am freezing to death. <laughs> now you might say, you might, you might actually be laughing about that. But it is the most ironic thing about getting cancer. Is that I am cold no matter what. No matter what the temperature is. If it's 70 degrees, I'm still cold. Because... The radiation wiped out my thyroid and the thyroid kind of controls uh, our sensitivity to hot and cold. So I got to switch hands because this one over here is an icicle now and feels like it's going to fall off. But um, the reason that is so ironic is... Winter time is when I actually prefer to be hiking and camping. <laughs> I really don't like to hike in like spring through fall. Early spring and late fall, those are okay. But when most people are hiking and camping, isn't the ideal time to me. Mine is winter time when nobody else is on the trails. And you have the whole entire woods to yourself. So... Like one of the things about getting cancer is all the changes. You know, it's been two years now since my treatment stopped. And I still go through changes. I go through changes all the time. I find out new things about me that are different now. Like I don't even know who I am anymore. But the one that gets me the worst is a sensitivity to this cold. I mean, there is no way that I could go hiking and camping in this, which at 32 or 33 degrees isn't even that bad. I mean, I've been hiking and camping down to single digits. No problem. I gotta switch again because my hand's freezing. And, uh, you know, I, I, the easiest way to explain it is my hands and feet all the time, no matter how warm it is, you know, like that, um, when you've been outside in the winter time and your hands and feet have gotten too cold and when you first step into a warm building, that like burning sensation, you know, it's actually a sign of frostbite, if you want to know the truth. That's the way my hands and feet are all the time. Like, I said 70 degrees, but really, it's noticeable at 64 degrees or less. And, uh, it doesn't matter how warm your core temperature is, which is why I got on all these layers of clothing. Like... It's a circulation issue. Like your heart rate has slowed down to the point where your blood doesn't circulate to your extremities and then it feels like frostbite. That's basically what it is. I mean the science, that's what, that's what it would be. Um, it's so hard for me to get used to. And one of the reasons why I decided to walk instead of drive which you know I could have done either or it's a little over a mile one way I got to go there and back is I just wanted to get the blood circulating to my extremities because even inside my house <laughs> my hands and feet are freezing and I just thought well that walk will do you some good get your blood circulating because 
the one thing that I have found that helps somewhat in the early part of winter and for Kentucky it's been a very mild winter you know we've had a lot of days 40 50 60 degrees really unusual for Kentucky but uh one of the things I found was once the temperature got below 64 that really helped a lot until it gets really cold is for me to walk on the treadmill or do the bow flex uh, bow flex max and if I get get the blood circulating then it's not that bad but when the daytime temperatures or the outdoor temperatures is like in the 30s and nothing really helps you know I've switching hands because like right now the hand that's holding the phone is burning that's the feeling it's a burning feeling if you've never been outside and gotten so cold that when you come into a place that's warm your skin burns that's what it feels like and again I just think it's just like so ironic because you know hike, winter hiking and camping was always my thing that's always when I preferred to go. Uh, oh well. I don't really have anything else to say. I just really wanted to share this story. I just laughing on this walk. I'm about to come up to the big hill now and just coming down one of the big hills, matter of fact, but I'm getting ready to go up a big hill. And, uh, I really don't want to hear you have you hear me out of breath <laughs> so I'll go ahead and end it now anyways as always God bless you God bless your families God bless your homesteads and uh, get outside and enjoy the weather whatever it may be even when you're in pain because being outside is a proven way to help you with your stress levels and that sort of thing and sometimes I just like to get out and walk. That's how I connect. But thanks for watching, folks. Now that I'm at the top, I probably could have kept the video going. It wasn't that bad. But, oh well. <laughs> Whew, I didn't even have to stop. And I haven't worked out in a while. But, made it to the top. Another quarter of a mile, half a mile left to go.